Welcome back. We've got a package here to open from Bradley at Savage Fabrication. I don't know if you can see the tape on it. We're going to crack it open. This is the second iteration of the upgraded turbo that he has done for me so graciously. Thanks again, Bradley. Honestly, extremely stoked to uh, have Bradley help us out on this. <laughs> I said, thank you, Bradley, you rock when I sent it back. So, uh, seriously, he does. And um, this is the second iteration. So after we made 560 wheel horsepower and uh, 600 and what was it, 40 foot pounds of torque, Bradley said, hey, I've got some uh, tricks up my sleeve and send it back in and we'll see what we can do. So, got it right here. And uh, I'm just going to unbox it on the ground and uh, I'll get the uh, camera here set up a little bit better. Okay, so the biggest change that he has done on this is change the compressor. So on the previous iteration, it was a, a full set HE341 and so it had a 57 millimeter turbine blade. And, or sorry, compressor, and he has upgraded this to a 60 millimeter. So bumped up three millimeters in diameter, and this should be good to six, or sorry, 70 pounds a minute. So into the 700 horsepower crank range, I think, if I'm going off the top of my head. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, that would mean that on my car, this should get us into the 600 horsepower range. Uh, relatively relatively easily so he has also done a few other tricks uh on the hot side of the turbo but we're going to hold off on to that um for a little bit and we're just going to focus on uh getting it back on the car and doing some tests and uh see what this thing can do i'm really excited seriously thanks again bradley he uh did this just out of the kindness of his heart he reached out and said hey let's um Let's take a look at it again, and I, I sent it on back to him, and uh, he got it back to me on a kind of a fun deadline that I've got coming up, and I really appreciate that. So uh, if you need any work done uh, on a whole set turbo or have any turbo questions, he also does all kinds of other turbos like uh, Borg Warners, and he does combinations that are hybrid of Borg Warner and whole set. Um, He's basically a magician, uh, turbocharging sorcerer is what I, I refer to him as. So go ahead and, uh, and hit him up because he's the most knowledgeable person that I've talked to with turbocharging thus far. Um, and he hasn't been wrong yet. He, he always has, uh, his predicted outcomes have been the outcome that I've gotten with his turbos and, uh, if not better, which it actually ended up being better. So, um, yeah, let me just pull this off and you can see down in here. It's got the uh, 60 millimeter version of this turbo now, whereas previously it was a 57. So we're gonna have a little bit of a trade-off. And one thing that I've learned um, from everything I've been learning working with Bradley is that uh, turbo machinery and piston engines, they there's always a trade-off. So you will change one thing and you will trade something for something else. High end power for low end power. Uh, in this case, you'll trade a little bit of uh, turbocharger lag for uh, some higher end uh, flow capabilities. So in the high, in the, yeah, high power flow capabilities. So we'll go into a lot more details in a future video, but I just wanted to get this guy unboxed and throw it on the car. Um, he went through and actually smoothed this out and I genuinely really appreciate it. I have been meaning to do that um, and it looks way better. There's a huge bracket here um, for the stock wastegate that I originally just kind of sawzalled off and it was it's a big chunk here and he went through and smoothed it out, which looks amazing. I love when a, a turbo just kind of looks, it has that, that uh, volute snail look where there's just, it's completely smooth. So... I think in a future time, uh, when I get some time on my hands, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'll just scuff this guy down a little bit and we'll, we'll paint it. So since I've got uh, 
a little bit of painting equipment. Maybe we'll match um, this to the color of the car or something cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, throw this back on the car and um, we'll get it tested. But thanks again to Bradley at Savage Fabrication. He is seriously the man. And uh, yeah, don't forget to go check it out. I'll put all the links in the description as always. So thank you. Got the new turbo dropped in. Everything's super easy. Thankfully, uh, V-bands exist. It's like one, two. This was already set and then clamped the front here. And then just the four bolt flange, everything's in. I took it for a test drive. Uh, I didn't have any data logging on me, but it was probably running like, I don't know, 18 PSI. I didn't have the, the high octane fuel in, so I was just babying it. Um, until I turned down the boost because it was on the old boost setting for 24 PSI. But this thing rips. It pulls really hard in high gear. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's already awesome. The thing that's cool is um, it makes crazy noises. Like it, when it spools down, it has like a, a really distinct, awesome tone. It kind of sounds like a semi truck. Um, but the other thing about it is it hardly, feels different in spool time. So we've gone with a bigger compressor, but it feels very, very similar in spool. Um, I can't tell you exactly how much. I'm gonna go do some data logs when I get an opportunity, but the spool is right there. Uh, hardly feels different than the, uh, it was a 5767. So now it's a 6067 and uh, gosh, I, I couldn't tell you if it was, you know, a half second or quarter second or I don't know how many milliseconds different it is but it feels pretty much identical to the last setup as far as just from the seat of the pants and pressing the pedal um, comes on very hard pulls very hard up top you can definitely tell that it's flowing so um, anyway I think uh, yeah I think it's going to be awesome this is just a temporary update I'll be out of the country for a little while so um, when I get back we'll start looking into uh, doing a lot more testing with this. So uh, enjoy. Thanks again, uh, Bradley at Savage Fabrication. Go check him out in Spool Performance.